Week one of the fantasy football season is finally here, and here's the top 15 quarterbacks I'm ranking this week. Number one, Josh Allen of the Buffalo Bills. Allen, he was the first quarterback off the board for fantasy owners in most fantasy leagues. And this week, a pretty good matchup. Arizona Cardinals coming to town. Their defense really can't stop anyone. This could be a potential shootout between these two teams. And even with a wide receiving crew that's questionable and not really number one in that wide receiver room, I still believe with his rushing ability... And just with his potential and getting the football down the field to make him plays for Josh Allen. Once again this season, he'll be a top one to three quarterback. And this week I have him at one, number two, Jalen Hurts of the Philadelphia Eagles. People down on Hurts a little bit going into the season, saying his numbers are going to drop off. Jason Kelsey is a big loss, which I agree with that. He is a big loss coming into the year. But this week, a good matchup versus the Green Bay Packers. Arguably, he's got the best weapons any quarterback has in all pro football. Adding Saquon Barkley in the backfield. Jay Brown, Devonta Smith trading for Jahan Dotson, Dallas Goddard in the middle of the field. And with his running ability, so Jalen Hurts this week versus the Green Bay Packers. I expect them to go out there and have a big ball game in Brazil. Number three, CJ Stroud of the Houston Texans. I might be a little high on Stroud this week, but I believe his matchup's better than Patrick Mahomes and Lamar Jackson, who obviously are versing each other in that ball game to kick the season off on Thursday night. So CJ Stroud, a good matchup at the Indianapolis Colts. Stroud getting more great weapons in the offense. Stefan Diggs, they traded for in the offseason. Joe Mixon to go with Nico Collins and Tank Dell and Dalton Schultz at the tight end position. And this week, I believe it's going to be a good matchup for CJ Stroud once again. And he's a quarterback with potential to throw from anywhere from 4,500 yards to 5,000 this season. So this week, I like the matchup a lot at Indianapolis. Number four, Patrick Mahomes of the Kansas City Chiefs. So Patrick Mahomes, no doubt about it, his fantasy numbers went down last season where there was a lot of ball games where he was mid 15 20 fantasy points for owners for Patrick Mahomes but this week and this season I think the numbers are going to go up once again they got some help Rasheed Rice not suspended surprisingly Xavier Worthy impressive rookie drafted this season Travis Kelsey 100% after training camp or preseason and going into the season and Patrick Mahomes you know he wants to improve that he's hard on himself when he has bad ball games even coming off a Super Bowl victory once again, three Super Bowls in five years. I think Patrick Mahomes turns it around after a down season last year. And this week in a tougher matchup versus Baltimore, I still think he finds a way and has a good ball game. Number five, Lamar Jackson of the Baltimore Ravens. So Lamar, we know he's the best rushing quarterback in fantasy football. He's going to get you eight, ten points minimum weekly running that football. And this week at Kansas City, I think we're going to see him run a lot. And we're also going to see Lamar, his new weapon, Derrick Henry, is really trying to throw this Kansas City defense off with. Now they got a real running back who's a three down back and a guy who could carry a big workload if they need it, obviously, is this Baltimore Ravens team. I know Gus Edwards had the monster season last year, but it was a lot of goal line and short yardage. And he's been a back that wasn't healthy. And that's why they upgraded with Derrick Henry. So this week at Kansas City, even in a tough matchup, you just know with his legs that he's going to get you some points. Is Lamar Jackson a makeup for a down passing game if he has one this week? Number six, Kyler Murray of the Arizona Cardinals. So as the preseason and training camp went on, I was higher on Murray coming into the year. And he's got two great young weapons, Marvin Harrison Jr. and Trey McBride. And with his running ability as well and another year off the ACL injury, I think it bodes well for Kyler Murray. So this week, not the greatest of matchups in Buffalo, a tough place to play. But we know... We know this build defense that lost a lot of good players in the offseason. And this week, I think Kyler Murray with his new weapons and with his legs a little healthier coming off the ACL now over a season. He could go out there versus the, at the Buffalo Bills and have a good ball game. And it wouldn't be surprising to me if this season Kyler Murray finishes anywhere in that top five to eight range at the quarterback position. Number seven, Anthony Richardson of the Indianapolis Colts. A lot of people were huge on Anthony Richardson coming into fantasy drafts and coming into the season with his running ability and his cannon arm and his just poise in the pocket is Richardson. Even though last season, we know his season was cut short by injury. So this week, it's going to be a good division matchup with the Texans coming to town over there in Indianapolis. Like I said, Anthony Richardson's a freak athlete. He can make plays with his legs. He's got a big cannon arm and a good receiver in Michael Pittman Jr., as well but I think this week his numbers are going to be all down a little bit where I'm high on guys like Stroud and Kyle Murray but you can't go wrong with Richardson number eight Joe Burrow of the Cincinnati Bengals I feel like people forgot about Joe Burrow a little bit after the last couple seasons injuries have done them in 
especially last season he missed more than half the year with Joe Burrow. And this week he's got a great matchup at the, versus the Patriots. In time of recording this, we'll see. Obviously, if Jamar Chase, he's just going to play or he's just going to hold out as Jamar Chase because he wants every dollar and a penny more than Justin Jefferson to be the highest paid wide receiver in the game. He is Jamar Chase. But Joe Burrow, let's say Chase doesn't play this ball game. He still has T. Higgins, who I believe has a good season under that franchise tag. Also, Mike Kosicki, I think, is a decent tight end that still could go out there and make some plays. And out of the backfield, Zach Moss and Chase Brown who could catch the football as well. So Joe Burrow in the Spangled team, I think it's a revenge tour for them after last season that we're starting to get things going and then just injuries did them in. So this week versus New England, it wouldn't be surprising me if Burrow goes out there and has a big performance. Number nine, Tua of the Miami Dolphins. The two are very underrated in fantasy drafts this season. I know he don't run the football and gets a lot of yards on the ground at all, but he still puts up tons of yards. He has arguably the top two receivers in the same receiving room in the league, Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle. And this week, a good matchup versus a weaky secondary with the Jacksonville Jaguars coming to town. And we know this Miami Dolphin team, they're better at home over the last few seasons than they are at home. And they put up way more points and these players put up more fantasy points as well. So Tua this week, I think, is a solid option. Like I said, when you got two wide receivers with Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle, especially yards after catch, they're going to put up numbers. And this week, I think they go out there and help Tua's cause. Number 10, Jordan Love of the Green Bay Packers. And Jordan Love, what a breakout season it was for him after a few years sitting on the bench watching Aaron Rodgers. And now he was the predecessor to Rodgers. And he came in and took this pack of offense to new heights last season, spreading the football out, making some plays with his legs. And he's a gamer, Jordan, love no doubt about it. And this week in Brazil with Philadelphia, Friday night football, I think this is going to be a shootout between these two teams. We saw last season Philadelphia have a lot of shootouts where quarterbacks were putting big numbers up and with a lot of speed wide receivers and just good poise and awareness in the pocket for Jordan Love. I think he goes out there and has a good performance. Number 11, Jaden Daniels. Of the Washington Commanders, a Jaden Daniels Heisman Trophy winner. Talk about a quarterback that's going to run the football a whole lot and has a good IQ. Jaden Daniels is that. This week, I know it's not the greatest of matchups at Tampa Bay with him being a weather pack defense, but Jaden Daniels, he's going to get anywhere from five to eight points weekly, extra running the football. He's that type of athlete, and I know the weapons aren't great on this team. Brian Robinson, Austin Eckler in the backfield, wide receiver, not much going on. Terry McLaurin. Luke McCaffrey possibly might be that number two wide out over there for this commander team. But like I said, Jaden Daniels with his legs and just making things happen when there's nothing there. We're going to see a lot of that. And this week with the Russian upside, I like him as a top 12 option. Number 12, Dak Prescott of the Dallas Cowboys. So maybe I'm lower this week on Dak Prescott than other people. But this is a tough matchup with the Cleveland Browns. C.D. Lamb, he just signed that contract. Finally, after holding out all the training camp last week, where I still think he's not 100% in game shape and up to snuff his CD Lamb, even though obviously he's been there for many seasons and had the monster year last year. But Dak Prescott last year, what a regular season it was. And then once again, when the playoffs came, he came up short and played bad football. So this week in a tough matchup with the dog pound at Cleveland, I'm going to limit expectations for Dak Prescott. And if you want to go out there and start him, I don't think it's a bad idea, but I just don't think he's going to put up the games like we saw last season with 25 or more fantasy points in this one. 13, Caleb Williams of the Chicago Bears. So I've said it a lot in my videos. Caleb Williams, he's a rookie coming in to possibly the best situation you'll ever see a rookie come into with weapons on the offense. DJ Moore, Keenan Allen, DeAndre Swift, Khalil Herbert, running back position, Cole Komet, tight end, and the young rookie Roma Dunze, who they took in the first round as well was a spare team but this week it's a little weird of a matchup with the Tennessee Titans coming to town where their defense is hit or miss at times is Tennessee and Caleb Williams his running ability isn't like a Jaden Daniels and that's why I got Jaden Daniels above Caleb Williams I know Caleb Williams his weapons are better obviously than Jaden Daniels but this week like I said with Tennessee coming to town and they're a decent defense and Williams I don't think he's gonna go out there and have a huge week one versus Tennessee Titans so this week I have him as a back-end one option, 14, Jared Goff, the Detroit Lions. So this Lion team, we know they're a better team at home than they are in the road over the last few seasons. And this offense is loaded, obviously. Jameer Gibbs, David Montgomery in the backfield. I'm on Ron St. Brown, Jamison Williams. Hopefully he could finally break out in his third year where he's not hurt or suspended coming into the end. Sam Laporta, 
who had the monster rookie season at the tight end position. So this week, a rematch of the first round between the Lions and the Rams last season. I think Jared Goff goes out there. Like I said, he's a better home quarterback than he is on the road. Just look at the splits. And he has a good ball game. 15th and final quarterbacks, Matthew Stafford of the Los Angeles Rams. So Matthew Stafford, he went in the later rounds or undrafted in some fantasy leagues. But he's got arguably some of the better weapons than anyone in the league as well with Cooper Cup, Puka Nakua, Kyron Williams, Blake Horm in the backfield, and Tyler Higby when he's healthy in the next few weeks at the tight end position. And we know Stafford's still a gunslinger. He's got a big arm. He's got two great possession receivers and receivers that could do it all with great hands. And this week at his former team at Detroit, I think he could go out there and put some points on the board early and often. And this one is Matthews for Stafford. So if you have Stafford on your roster and you punted the quarterback position, I think weekly, for the most part, he could be a good option is Matthew Stafford. Just his stealing is a little bit limited compared to the quarterbacks in front of him. So that's the top 15 quarterbacks I'm ranking for week one of the fantasy football season.